Okay, it's not what it looks like, and I can explain. Hey guys, it's Lexi here. And if you follow me on Instagram, you might have noticed that I hosted a collaboration this month for customizers. And it was Wintry Beginnings. So for Wintry Beginnings, the theme was to try something new. Try something you've never done before. Be it a figure you've never tried to customize before. Say you are an LPS customizer, try My Little Pony. Or if you're a Furby customizer, try Lola's Pet Shop, vice versa. You know, that kind of thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you've never done a full body custom, you know, a full paint job, full reroute, full, full, full anything, you know, just try something new. So for my custom, I wanted to try sculpting for the first time. Yes, sculpting. Never done it before. And... Making fairy film wings because they're so beautiful. And Delightful made them. And I really, 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 really wanted to try it. So yeah, I, I formed a winter fairy in my head and that's what I'm trying to make today. So because I was trying a lot of new things, uh, I kind of just jumped into the project and didn't record about half of it, to be honest. Um, that and another particular reason was I was going to be dealing with flames, sharp pointy things, fire. I didn't feel safe or comfortable filming while doing those things. You know, I, I wanted to be safe and watch what I was doing and not worry about being in the shot or, you know, worry about filming, so... Yeah, so I just didn't, so I'm going to showcase here um, some pictures that I took of the progress of making the armature for the antlers. Yep, yep. Going to do a voiceover here, probably. And the fairy film. And I will probably go into greater detail um, later on in this video, talking about that. But just in case, um, you can see the pictures hopefully here. Um, or if not, I've posted them to my Instagram already. I'm probably going to do work in progress pictures on there from now on. So if y'all want any sneak peeks, you know, just follow me there. And yeah, here's the start of where I started filming the custom bits of this custom. All right. Thank you. Goodbye. So in my earlier pictures, you noticed that I used jewelry wire and some green stuff to sculpt the antlers, tail, and put the ears back on the custom. And now I'm painting on a base coat of white to solidify the color of the custom to later on build up color on top of it. It's always great to start off with a white base coat. And this took about three to four coats of watered down acrylic paint. on this custom today and if any of you follow me on Instagram you might have noticed that I've strayed away a bit from the concept art that I've posted a few weeks ago uh, going less for a blue ombre and leaning more towards fairy aurora borealis vibes
And after many, many, many watered down layers, we have a beautiful ombre effect here. And now we're going to work on his eyes and his feet. For his eyes, I chose this nice pink color because I figured it would pop with all the darker hues of blues and turquoise and purples. for the eyes to dry for another layer, I'm going to work on his little feet, his little paws, and give him some white socks. And now it's just going to be me painting the paws and eyes, going back and forth, waiting for layers to dry, so enjoy! some little dots to his back to look kind of like a uh, baby deer's dots because I wanted to start out with a deer to begin with but I didn't think the mold would stand up well like a Great Dane mold so I ended up going with a Great Dane mold but to tie in with the antlers and the deer motif I used some dots. time for his eye shines and I kept it real simple with just a few dots. I think it gave him an overall innocent and look of wonder and I think that was perfect for a magical creature. I wanted a touch of yellow somewhere and I was inspired by my G3, My Little Ponies, that sit next to me while I craft and I put a dot of yellow in his eye shines there. And now that I'm satisfied with his paint job, I'm just going to seal it in with DuraClear Matte Varnish, a watered down version. To 
address the wings. So like I said earlier, this involved fire and I didn't feel comfortable filming it at the time. So here's a little reenactment of me sealing the fairy film around the jewelry wire wing I created. Delightful has a great tutorial and so does Enchantarium has a great tutorial on this that I'll link down below in the description. So look there for how I did it because that's how I did it. Next, you're going to see me getting impatient with attaching the wings to the boy here, and I should have stuck with glue all. I should have just used that. I ended up getting impatient with how slow it was drying and not knowing how to prop up the wings while it was drying, so I thought that the next best step would be to use hot glue. Ultimately, I think the wings were kind of the downfall of this custom. I was impatient and didn't want to use glue wall. I wanted to use hot glue because, again, I didn't know how to prop the wings up while they were drying with glue wall. So I used hot glue. I probably should have used the epoxy sculpt I was using earlier, but with the paint job, I didn't want to have to move around the wings and get the wings painted. And it just it felt like an ugly mess. So I was waiting till the last second to put the wings on to begin with. And the first wing went on fine for the most part. Uh, it's the second wing that gave me issues. Um, it caused hot glue to bump up against the head and tear off the paint. So I had to fix the paint job on the head. And then I had to, you know, when I was putting the wing on, it pulled up the paint on its back and I'm just going to have to go back in there and touch that up later on. But I was just, I was over it. The wings, I'm over it. Hopefully they turned out all right. I hope the wings are worth it. I hope they're beautiful. Time for the big reveal! He is stunning. I love him so much. His wings are just gorgeous. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Like, look at that. His eyes, his paint job on the eyes are a bit rough. But that gradient though, and the sculpting's a bit rough, but overall, and I did an oopsie, but we're, we'll fix it. Overall, very happy with the boy. Well guys. It's another video, and many nail peelies later, and hours sculpting things that I've never sculpted before. We have this glorious creature. So this is my entry for the Wintry Beginnings custom collaboration that I hosted. Uh, I hope to make a video slideshow soon with all the other uh, participants who, with all their customs. So look forward to that in this upcoming week, and I hope y'all have a great beginning of the new year so far, and see y'all in February. Bye! Alright, let's go, dude.